one of my rules when it comes to knowing if someone is a good coach or not. If you have to show a glue shot to, see, to show how competent you are, you are an idiot. You're not a coach. If you just are like, look at my abs, buy a program for me, you deserve to be shot, okay? Here's the thing, we live in this society of instant gratification. You have those guys, I mean, honest to God, that's an actual story, okay? I knew a girl who was training at a gym where I was working out at, and she just started working out, like two or three months before, and she decided to do a, a bikini competition, like a figure competition, bikini, different class. So she, she, was, she looked great. She was a former soccer player, so she had good muscle tone. She was pretty lean, but she, she had never trained before. So she actually trained for three months in her life, then she did a show. Now, in bikini, you don't need to have that much muscle mass. You just need, need to look good and have a little bit of muscle tone and be lean. She did fairly well, like finished third or second or third, I don't know. It was a local competition, nothing spectacular. And now all of a sudden, not only is she a trainer, she actually starts to give seminars. You've been training for three months. Sure, you look pretty. Are you going to teach me how to be pretty? I mean, honestly, <laughs> you have your work cut out if that's what you're trying to teach me, right? So that, that just boggles my mind. But it's actually not unusual. You have these guys who look great. I mean, I, 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 I'll give it to them. Either the girls or the guys, they, they look great. Either because they have good genetics, maybe they took drugs, I don't know, I'm not here to judge, I don't care. Uh, but regardless, of, of, they are not coaches. The best they can do is they can give you their program, but that doesn't mean that because it worked for them, it's gonna work for you, okay? Uh, so you have guys who have never trained anybody in real life doing online coaching. I'm gonna tell you something, okay? I do both. I did real life coaching and online coaching and honest to God, online coaching is 10 times harder than real life coaching, okay? Because with real life coaching, you can see the person. You know if they're training hard enough. They know if an exercise is adequate or not for them, so you can make the changes. Uh, yeah, you communicate with a the person, they're giving you feedback. So it actually is much easier. When you're working with somebody at a distance, it's hell, it's hard. Because it's hard to evaluate the client, it's hard to see if they're doing the program properly, it's hard to know if the exercises are adequate. I mean, I've designed or uh, some tools that help me do that, but even then, it's, it's fucking hard. So if you've never trained, Imagine that. I mean, I've trained athletes in 28 different sports. I've trained pro bodybuilders, CrossFit athletes, well over 1,000 clients in my life. Well, well, well over maybe two or 3,000. But even for me, it's really hard to do online coaching. So you're telling me that you've never trained anybody and maybe a few of your friends that you can easily do online coaching? Bullshit, okay? You can give them a copy and paste program and a copy and paste diet. But that will never be a, it's not online coaching, it's just I'm sending you a program, which is fine, but don't make it bigger than it is. You're not a coach, okay? You, you're selling them a program. But to me, selling yourself as an online coach is dishonest because even though you're looking good, doesn't mean that you know what you're doing. Until you've worked with clients for real, you cannot call yourself a coach. Of course, I'm a coach, I'm biased. So, and I'm probably jealous, right? I mean, these guys have great bodies. Well, I, I have an awesome body. But, but just because, and they play, they, they look good. Okay, I don't look good. So boo-hoo, okay? Uh, so, and they're getting instant success while I spent years and years and years coaching in the trenches, studying and stuff. And maybe I'm a little bit jealous because these guys sometimes are making a lot more money than I am just because they look great and they play the marketing game great. So maybe it is jealousy talking, but from an ethical standpoint, it just pisses me off that someone with 
very little actual experience just because they look great, uh, they, they can mislead some people. Okay? So that, that's what I will say about Instagram, Insta coaches. Okay? Some, and the bad thing is that I'm pretty sure that some of them are decent. But in general, they're just people who have a great body and they use that to take advantage of people. So it is what it is. Thank you.